morning. All right, good morning. Hey, Mike. David Moore, Dallas Morning News. Understanding your focus is on this game, but do you have any more clarity on Dak's situation with the uh, extra opinions and just what will be needed? Uh, he's still going through the process. I uh, visited him again this morning on it, so still collecting information, different opinions. Uh, I think it'll continue through next week. So, um, But he, you know, he's here every day doing everything that he can. At this status, I mean, one of the things on the board is whether or not he's able to return this season given the options that he's looking at to, to address this injury. Yeah, definitely. I think that would be the goal. I, I know, I know he, I know he wants to keep playing, but you know, I think it's important to go through the, you know, the process of gathering all the information. It's obviously a serious injury. Uh, Todd Archer with ESPN. How did uh, Micah and CD come out of their work yesterday? Uh, CD had a good day. Did a little more than we anticipated, and I, I thought Micah had a, a good day. He felt good this morning, so uh, Micah will do a little more, um, and uh, CD will stay on stay on a normal rep count. Have you had receivers have dealt with the, this AC joint that? that uh, yes. What's yeah. the biggest issue that they have to? Is it just a pain thing or range of motion? And like, how, how do you look at it? I mean, it's both. I mean, it's you know, once again, I mean, all AC joints, you know, there's different grades, and I mean, I think you know, obviously, you, you know, there's things that you can play with. Um, so, uh, you know, I don't want to get into specifics of it. He can he can talk about the specifics of his injury, uh, but yes, I mean, this this is. The tough part of the game, um, but I thought he had a good day yesterday. John Machado with the Athletic. Do you still look at this with your running back group as running back by committee, or is Rico kind of moved into that the number one spot where he's kind of your guy? So you're asking me how many reps he's going to play Sunday? Oh, okay. Scheme and well, play. Sure, yeah, Tad to. told me scheme and play times off the table. I'm just trying to stay <laughs> within the rules here. I'm a rule follower. I follow the rules. What did you Kellen? think? Of, what, did, what, 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 what did you, what did you, what did you think of, of Rico though in the last game? I like the way he played. You know, I think Rico's uh, improved each week with with more opportunities. But yeah, very pleased with Rico. Calvin Watkins, Dallas Morning News. How, how's Zach Martin been playing this year? I mean, I know he's got like, a rookie. He's got to help him show communication. How overall do you think he's played? Well, I, I think like anything, I mean, um, you know, Zach Zach's had a couple of things, you know, you know, he's dealing with, but yeah, I think he's having a, a solid year. I mean, it's, you know, you're talking about someone that's uh, played at an extremely high level for so long. So, uh, but there's a lot of football left. Because it's, it's, because he's so good at what he does mm -hmm. and expectations are so high, when he has a quote unquote bad game, is that like a shock to the system that is something we normally don't see in a sense? Well, you know, once again, it's a long year. I mean, there's a lot of football, so I, I don't. You know, and it, and we talk about ebb and flow of a football game. You have an ebb and flow of a, of a season, and no different for players. I mean, they they're all trying to, you know, establish a standard, a high standard of play, and be consistently play above that line. And you know, and Zach has done that forever. So, um, I mean, he 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 would want to speak on that more than anybody. So, uh, he has a standard, and and you know, we have all the confidence that we're whole play today. So. Sajis of the Athletic, Mike, uh, how, how have your defensive tackles progressed throughout the season, and, and where do you see where they are right now going into a, a team that has a really good running game? Well, I, I think, you know, our numbers up front have, have been a little light. You know, we went in um, last week with eight. Uh, so, you know, I mean, we're going to need a Moz. He's going to have to play well. You know, we, we need those guys inside. I mean, it's this offensive line and the way they run it, Saquon's playing it at – I would say probably the best I've seen him play uh, going into a, a week of prep. So um, he's he's been dynamic. Uh, I think he wins a player of the week every week. It seems like, but um, you know, we, yeah, we definitely got to play you know strong inside. We play with a lot of discipline. I think the fit between our linebackers and our core guys inside has improved, and, and we need to continue to stay on that. And we will definitely need that Sunday. Their their quarterback sneak play hasn't been as effective this year. Is that? Just an indicator of how valuable Kelsey was to that, and and you know a lot of people attribute that to the quarterback, but just the whole operation. Well, I, I would say you know Kelsey, in my view, is a Hall of Fame center. I mean, I just I mean he 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 played at such a high level for so long. So uh, not only the sneak, but there, I mean there's a lot more. You know what I what I remember the respect I had for him is when he, you know their pattern schemes. You know I mean you know he pulls and they're still doing it with center now, but just his ability to pull on the edge and make plays too. So, um, but yeah, I, I think some of that too is, you know, maybe the opportunities haven't been there too. I I, I haven't studied it to give you. I don't, I don't have an evaluation of their sneak play. 
And Mike Edwarder, WFAA. Um, as you endure this three-game losing streak, oh, that hurt! Man, you're killing me. <laughs> you can pass the opinion and just give it to me. Come on. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to create a context for the question. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't get much sleep last night. I'm a little yeah. squirrely today. So. Yeah. I'll say yeah, but now, you know. In addition to that, you lose your starting quarterback just as your pass rusher is coming back. Uh, how would you describe morale and, and, and how do you, um, your coaching staff and the player, how do you how do you control that? I would say this. I mean, the, the reality of what goes on, you know, inside the locker room, the coaching uh, operation is really has been very consistent. I mean, uh, I think like all of us, and it's and it's really been like this my whole career. You know, when when things don't go the way you want them to go, you. You knuckle down and go a little harder. So I mean, that's the only thing I, that I've seen. Um, you know, we, we've put a lot of time and energy in this, not only on a daily basis in season, but th this goes back to April. So uh, yeah, I, I haven't seen anything change. Um, you know, if you look at the practice tape, and and um, you know, I'm always just used to young guys example. You know, we got some young players that have, that are having. You know, they're 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 growing and so forth. And that, that that's that's part of your. Their, your 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 um, practice climate that, that that's established here. So I, I haven't seen any drop off. You know the weight room. I mean, discipline. I'm just looking for situations. But yeah, the, the, this 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 particular team is clearly you know is is a very consistent football team. But yeah, I, I mean, morale. I mean, we all want to win. I mean, it's it, it's frustrating when you don't win, um, and it's hard. And because you got to answer questions like this too. That's part of our job. Uh, but I, I just yeah, I I don't, I don't see. Really, any drop off. So um, good to be home. Need to win a home game. I won a home game this year. How unthinkable is that to you? That you have, as dominant as you guys have been well, home the last two years, that you haven't won a home game. You know that that would have been my answer. You know, it just just the way we have played the last two years. I, it, it, you know, I would have, I would have never thought that. You know, I would have never thought that. Aaron. Uh, Aaron Kazan, the Lone Star. I've kind of building off that morale question uh, mm -hmm. with with Dak Hurt and Zeke going through his stuff. Have you noticed uh, anybody step up leadership wise, or, or is that important to you to have particular guys fill the leadership? I would say people are. It's more action than than vocal right now, and I think that's the way it should be. Um, you know, I, no no one wants to really hear a whole lot of extra. You know, but uh, we do have vocal leaders. Uh, I think they do a good job of you know speaking at the right time or when something needs to be said. Um, um, personally, I can't stand false chatter. I, 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 maybe because it's I'm old, uh, I find it annoying. Um, but you know, I think it's important to stay consistent. And going back to Ed's original question, I think the energy is probably what I'd comment on too. Is the energy has been very consistent, and I think that's important. Dave, okay. <clears throat> Mike, you we've, you've talked a lot about being a, a draft and develop coach, and that's mm -hmm. a bedrock principle of what you do. And and you've also mentioned several times this year being green, it, which is another part of being a draft and develop team. Mm -hmm. How key is it every off season when you're draft and develop like you are to, to analyze kind of that veteran safety net on how many of them you let go so you don't leave yourself too young in certain areas? I mean, how big a part of that is then the evaluation year in year out? Well, I, I do think the formula, and it's hard to do it every year because you've got the whole financial realm over here. That, that that's uh, critical uh, to the process of putting together a roster. Um, but you know, and I and I learned this uh, first time I really saw saw it happen was probably in Kansas City, but was more in tune with it when I went to Green Bay. Is you know, you try to make sure through veteran free agency you have you know the spots full, or at least you know you can go play a game today if you had to in in April, and then you're able to you know. You're not drafting for need. I mean, you try to stay away from drafting for need, uh, but that's that's not. You know, some years it's not practical. So, um, so in 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 have been there even in a draft and develop program in 13 years. I mean, we, you know, we said we were BPA best play available all the time, but you know, there are times we were not. So, um, and I think so that happens. Uh, so, I personally, as a head coach, would really. You know, when you're signing veterans in camp and, and you know you're you're doing things at the end, that 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 I think that's a, a pretty big challenge. It doesn't um, that because it's happened more this year, it seems than, than I haven't 
uh, been exposed to as much because I think you know if you can have everybody here in April when that draft's over and you line up and you got that 90 man roster, if you can get to work on continuity and con consistency, I think that's a huge factor in the start of your season. Because if you can just get started in eight, in September, because it's September to me is the best opportunity to win games. I, I personally don't think the quality of football is th the best of my coaching career in September. So to me that that. From experience, I think there's more opportunities to win. So, so if you can at least get out the gate and get started, um, and I think having all your people there in, in, in April helps you do that. So, um, but then boom, here comes the injuries. You know, timing injuries, rookies playing. You know, you know when 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 they play is is too. So all these are factors through experience you you learn to navigate too. But you know, we all play by the same rules. So it's it's not that. You know, we, we have something different than others. That, that's that's not my point, but that's all part of the challenge, and that's why that makes this game so great, and that's why this league is so hard. Yeah. It seems like, again, every year that, that is your principle, and you carry it through every year, but you have different numbers of starters who are on that second level who are up in a certain year than other years, and sometimes you lose six or seven, sometimes you lose two. Yeah, I mean, everybody wants to catch lightning in a, in a, in a bottle and go win a Super Bowl. Hell, I mean, it's, it's awesome, but you know, go to the playoffs every year. I mean, that's hard. Sustained success in the National Football League is by far the hardest is the hardest thing going. I mean, when you see teams that are in it every single year, that's a hell of a football program. I mean, they're doing things the right way in on all three quadrants. You know, their player instruction, you know, their player um, uh, drafting, and their player finance. Those all three of those components are functioning at a very high level. Um, so, you know, being a one-year wonder, um, you know, and it's happened, you know, and it's, and it's important. I mean, if you can, if you can be playing, if you can get in the playoffs and play your best football in December and January, it's been proven. You, you have a great, great opportunity to maybe win one. But uh, to build it for the long haul, you have to draft and develop. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know any other way. I mean, that's, the numbers tell you that. The, the depth of your football team is critical to that. So those are all very, very important factors. Garrett. Garrett Codell, CBS Sports. Mike, Jalen Hurts struggled with turnovers, but during their four-game winning streak, 12 touchdowns, no turnovers. As someone who's made a career evaluating quarterbacks, what what's flipped for him the last two weeks? Um, I, you know, I haven't watched them that close to give you an opinion on the earlier games, uh, but I think the you know the obvious is you know the answer to your question. I mean, you got to take care of the football. So I mean, we're we, we're going through. We went through the same thing. You can't. You can't. You know, you're never going to win a game that you're. Minus five. Hell, we won a game and we we're minus three. And, you know, and I don't know if I've ever done that before in Pittsburgh. So, you, you got to take care of the ball. I mean, there's no any way to shake it. You know, whether it's you know the fundamentals of how you carry it, the decisions you're making, the quarterback, or you're not you know, catching it, and you know, or they're making plays. You know, and there's the tremendous amount of training that goes in to ball extraction. I think it's the highest that I've ever seen in my career in this league. The ability to take the ball away. So. And uh, I think we talked about this in here last week or two weeks ago. You know, taking the helmet out of the game, um, you know, the the skill level of the defenders and the coverage units taking the ball away. It's 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 awesome. We show a video every week. Um, John Moth Fossil does the video. It's incredible. Uh, I love the way he does it. And it's 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 a weekly. You know, it goes through every game, all 16 games. And it's all about you know one of the sections is about ball security. So so it's constantly drilled because. You have to have it too, and that's where, you know, the, you know, the, we need to flip it here. You know, and you know, we, we were plus one last week, and we needed to build off of that. Sydney, Coach Sydney Staples, D two Ten Sports. How has that energy surrounding Ezekiel Elliott been so far this week? Good, good. He's um, he's come in. And we you know sat down and talked on Monday, or or maybe it's Tuesday, but um, yeah, he's jumped right in. He's had a, he's had a good week, so. Um, you know, Zeke has a Zeke has a bright light. You know, he's he's uh, got a lot of personality, so he, he's having a good week. Todd, uh, you talked a little bit about the home deal. Have you changed anything about your schedule plan? Guys staying in hotels, not staying at home, now anything like that? Yeah, we've adjusted the schedule a little bit. Yeah. You think you want no, I, I, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin, uh, how much will uh, Bland do today? He'll be working with Britt today. Yeah, he's still in a rehab group. Is that foot still sore? Not is that the biggest thing with him? 
just does someone us in that foot? Yeah, I mean, the, the specifics, you know, he, I mean, he's still having symptoms. You know, that, that's really what's communicated. So the specifics are, you know, really for him to speak on. Matt. Uh, the importance of, of leadership in situations like this, and then what do you lose in that regard with Dak? You know, since he's such a driving force here in the locker room, do you lose that with him, or is he still able to be that when he's not playing? Well, I, I think like anything, particularly with Dak, because he, you know, he's such an excellent leader and respected. Uh, so obviously, when you're, but when you're not on the field, you know, it, it, obviously the opportunity decreases. Um, but you know, the support that he gives Cooper. And, and the support that he gives his, the other players, it's really an opportunity for those, those men to step up and, and take, take advantage of this, you know, look void in leadership too. So, um, but, you know, and I, he really gets that, you know. So, um, you know, he broke down the offense here at the end of the, at the end of the walkthrough. So he's, he's still very much involved. All right. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you.